Carter is your 2021 Miss Teen Rodeo USA, where she is a national representative for the International Finals Youth Rodeo. Lana is a 17-year-old CrossFit Arkansas cowgirl. She attends CrossFit High School and is in the graduating class of 2023. She is an accomplished young woman with many awards in her academic and athletic career. Lana is a member of Student Council, National Honor Society, Beta Club, Art Club, and Key Club while participating in softball and tennis. Lana competes in various rodeo events including barrel racing, pole bending, and goat tying. Lana is actively involved in her community where she is a member of the 4-H Outriders and the Chima Hunt Riding Club. As Lana travels across the United States promoting the sport of rodeo, she also works to bring awareness to her platform, Case by Case, which provides suitcases for children in the foster care system. take this time to recognize one of our amazing sponsors of the Miss Teen Romeo USA pageant, Epic Saddlery. Epic Saddlery is based in Clarksville, Arkansas and specializes in custom saddles, silver, the newest designs and top quality awards at affordable prices. Having been to the NFR and making custom saddles for top IPRA and PRCA cowboys and cowgirls, they truly know how to custom fit a saddle to your horse. They are amazing silversmiths and have generously donated three Miss Teen Rodeo USA pendants and a head stall. If you're looking for the perfect custom saddle or buckle, check out Abic Saddlery. They also designed the beautiful saddle to be awarded to our highest raffle ticket sales winner. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2021-2022 Miss Teen Rodeo USA, Lana Carter. To go in is Miss Tara Beth Looney.
Tara Beth Leamy is the 17-year-old daughter of DJ and Michelle Rams from Chickamauga, Georgia. She recently graduated from Gordon Lee High School in the top 10% of her class. She will be attending her dream college, the University of Georgia, this fall, where she intends to pursue a degree in cellular biology. She enjoys reading, sketching, writing, short stories, listening to music, hanging out with friends, and riding her horses. Tara Beth started riding when she was just nine years old and has competed, competed at numerous saddle clubs and rodeo associations since then. She competes in junior rodeos back home in barrel racing, pole bending, and goat tying. She has qualified and competed in the International Miniature Rodeo Association finals in Guthrie, Oklahoma twice, finishing as high as sixth in the world in her age division.
and gentlemen, contestant number two, Tara Beth Luna. At this time, we'd like to take a moment to recognize contestant, contestant number five, Bailey Barrett. Bailey Barrett is 18 years old, residing in Midwest City, Oklahoma. She is the big sister to two amazing siblings, Aiden and her sister, Ariana. Raised in the small town of Wellston most of her life, where she attended Wellston High School for 10 years. She is active in the 4-H and FFA programs and played softball for many years. That's where she fell in love with horses at the age of three and competed in her first ever rodeo queen contest. Still riding and competing in pageants to this day, her love for horses is a passion. Bailey is a senior this year, enrolled in Epic Online Schooling where she will graduate in May of 2023. Bailey plans to attend college for cosmetology, doing hair and makeup professionally, photography, and working with animals as a vet tech. Bailey plans to one day compete in her state pageant, Miss Rodeo, Oklahoma, going all the way to America to compete and also competing for Miss Rodeo USA one day.
And that is contestant number five, Miss Bailey Barrett. Ashley is the 17 year old daughter of John and Mona Polson. Ashley graduated high school in only three years and swiftly found herself as a 16-year-old freshman at West Texas A&M University last fall. She completed her first year at the university with a 4.0 grade point average and was awarded outstanding underclassmen by university faculty. She competes for West Texas A&M's equestrian team in the Intercollegiate Horse Show Association where her team finished nationals in third place. Pursuing a major in equine industry and business, Ashley enjoyed her plant science and animal science courses most last year. Attending the Wesley Foundation for Church, Bible Studies and Socials have provided her with a hobby at college aside from equestrian activities and coursework. Extracurricular activities such as Distributive Education Clubs of America, Junior Achievement USA, 4-H Dog and Horse Shows, American Quarter Horse Association Young Horse Development Program, and High School Rodeo kept Ashley busy during her high school years. Some little unknown facts about Ashley is that she enjoys playing violin and restoring her 1970 Opal GT with her mom. Ashley hopes to spend the next year of her life spreading her platform, reach out for rodeo across America.
And that is contestant number six, Ashley Ray for our next contestant. Contestant number eight, Houston Sage Shiner. Houston Sage has been raised in Huntsville, Arkansas, which is known as the foothills of the Ozarks. Houston Sage is the Miss Teen Cowboy for Tyler, is the 18-year-old daughter of Alicia, Alicia Shiner and Scott Shiner. She also is the granddaughter of Mike and Brenda Houston. Sage, as her friends and family prefer to call her, has worked hard the past few years to help spread the Cowboy for Tyler mission and will continue to do so for many years to come. The hashtag never quit is a platform that Houston Sage lives by daily and wants to share her love of rodeo with everyone she meets. Houston Sage is from Huntsville, Arkansas, where she helps her sister, Lightney Shiner, with her cattle farm. And she just graduated high school and is chasing her dreams as one day becoming Miss Rodeo USA. Houston was a contestant in the Miss Teen Rodeo USA pageant 2021 and has grown to love the Miss Rodeo USA organization and the IPRA. And mentoring is a newfound passion that Houston Sage is excited to be a part of.
Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number eight, Houston Sage. Contestant number 10, Mia Rhodes. racing, pole bending, trail riding, swimming, and riding four-wheelers. When she's not busy with school or horses, she enjoys helping on her family's farm during the wheat and cotton harvest. invite everyone out to the coronation this Friday of Miss Team Rodeo USA 2022 uh, 2023 coronation will be held this Friday July 15th at 7 p.m. sharp we will crown our new queen and present awards right before the finals performance of the IFYR on the arena floor along with crowning our new queen we will draw our raffle ticket winner as well as other award categories you're not going to want to miss it that's this Friday at 7 p.m. sharp right before the IFYR finals performance
Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 10, Mia Rhodes. Landry is an 18-year-old cowgirl from Lincoln, Arkansas. Landry signed her name in the history books as the first cowgirl to hold every title Lincoln Riding Club had to offer, from Little Miss, Princess, Junior Queen, and Queen. Digging into her hometown roots, Landry follows her family's passion for agriculture and ranching. Landry was raised by Jason and Brandy Cunningham on a 200-acre farm, which has been in the family for over 100 years, raising cows and calf operations and racehorses. Landry obtained her diploma from Lincoln High School. Following in her big sister's footsteps, she attended Petra Allied Health in the fall to receive her license as a registered dental assistant. Attacking for over two years, Landry has been fighting her worst enemy, seizures. Conquering a seizure has been her biggest challenge, but also her greatest asset. Landry plans on speaking about her platform, Seizing the Day, and hope to shed light on how to overcome life challenges, along with turning physical and emotional obstacles into positive outcomes. Becoming Miss Teen Radio USA would not only be a dream come true for Landry, but a lifelong accomplishment that she could tell for generations to come. She hopes to one day embellish her skills that she has gained from being a rodeo queen and help young girls achieve their dreams.
Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number three, Landry Page Cunningham. Number nine, Isabella Atwood. Isabella is the 17-year-old daughter of Charlotte Atwood and the late Arden Atwood. She will be a senior at Elkmont High School this fall. She is an active member of her FFA chapter and is a member or their equestrian, of their equestrian evaluation team. Isabella has been a member of the Lawrence County 4-H Horse Club for the past eight years where she has enjoyed competing in the youth rodeo as well as helping with the special needs rodeo each year. She is also a member of the National Honor Society and Leo Club. Isabella is a proud member of the Etocta Cherokee Tribe of Alabama. I'd also like to remind everyone that uh, this year the Miss Team Rodeo USA pageant contestants were asked to sell $200 worth of raffle tickets. This is our main fundraiser and the girls have absolutely knocked it out of the park with selling tickets. The girl who sells the most will receive a brand new Miss Team Rodeo USA trophy saddle by Epic Salary and the girl selling the winning ticket will receive $100 cash. Tickets are $1 each or six tickets for $5 for your chance to win $500 cash. Girls will be selling these tickets all week, so make sure to get your tickets before it's too late. And the drawing will be held during coronation on Friday, July 16th at 7 p.m.
Jolie is the 18-year-old daughter of Andy Jolie. Jolie currently works full-time and is taking college classes. She is the 2022 Total Roundup Club Ambassador. Jolie would like to thank her family, friends, and sponsors for all of their support. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that is contestant number one, Jolie Jackers. Alora Cahoon is the 15-year-old daughter of Rebecca and Alonzo Cahoon from Cedar City, Utah. She is a friendly, fun-loving junior at Canyon View High School in Cedar City, where she competes in barrel racing, pole bending, and is on the competitive equine team for her local FFA chapter. After high school, Alora plans to attend Snow College for her undergraduate degree, and then on to Logan UT to study animal science. Alora is proud to be a cowgirl and is known on social media as the first generation cowgirl because she is the first official cowgirl in her family. However, she has every intention to pass on her love of the country legacy to the family generations that follow. Outside of school, it is Alora's goal to become Miss Team Rodeo USA and eventually Miss Rodeo USA so that she can continue to serve by being a voice for the Western community and help the whole world fall in love with the sport of rodeo.
Ladies and gentlemen, that is contestant number seven, Alora Cahoon. Four, Lexi Evans. She is the 14-year-old daughter of Jason and Charity Evans and resides in Athens, Alabama. From a very early age, Lexi has been passionate about animals and began competing in local saddle club shows in the Western Pleasure Discipline. Lexi very quickly found her need for speed and began barrel racing on her second quarter horse or her two quarter horse buildings at the age of eight. She has competed in numerous barrel races across the southeast and has many belt buckles proudly displayed at her home. Lexi is an active member of Future Farmers of America, school volleyball and basketball teams, and Cowboy Church of Limestone County, where she continues to assist underprivileged children in her local area by leading coat teen hygiene essentials and food drives for her local schools, as well as supporting the local Salvation Army Angel Tree event each year. Lexi is proud to support St. Jude Children's Research Hospital each year by raising funds and entering their barrel jam races. Lexi aspires to become a veterinarian in the future and has begun volunteering at All Animal Clinic to enhance her skills and knowledge. She has her sights set on attending Mississippi State's veterinary program beginning in 2026.
ladies and gentlemen, that is Miss Lexi Evans, contestant number four.